Hey, Cancer. Happy birthday, my loves. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your love reading for the month of July. So this will be for the whole month, guys. I'm going to do a um, past energy and present energy just to kind of see how the energy has shifted with you all. There will be an extended reading. We'll talk a little bit more about the extended or do I want to talk about it now because I am switching things up, Cancer. So in the extended reading, I'm going to um, pull a new spread and I'm going to look into your love life for the week of the 18th and the 25th. I'm going to also look into career and finances for the rest of July. I'm going to look into your blockages and I'm going to pull a spirit message from the wisdom of the Golden Path Oracle. All right. So the extended reading will be a little different this month. I'm trying something new out just to see how you guys like it in the extended. If you guys like it, I'll just, um, you know, keep using that method. Okay. So or just doing that spread. All right. So let's hop in. Cancer, again, it is your season. Happy birthday, my loves. I hope you guys have an amazing birthday season. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. This is for the month of July or whenever you guys hear this reading. Do keep in mind, Cancer, that this is a general reading. It is a collective reading, so it's not going to resonate with all of you guys. All right, Cancer. So let's see what's going on with you all, Cancer. Spirit Universe love messages for Cancer for the month of July. What's coming in for Cancer for the month of July? What is Cancer's energy in the recent past? What is Cancer's energy in the recent past? We have the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Five of Wands, and we have the Nine of Wands. Let's look at the present energy. We have the Five of Pentacles in reverse, we have the Five of Swords. And then we have the Seven of Cups. All right. So that is the past. This is the present energy. All right. Coming into the near future, we have the Death card. And what you guys don't see coming is the Hermit. All right. Overall energy is the Tower. So Scorpio energy here twice. Endings do bring in new beginnings with the death card, but it looks like you guys are going to have a tower moment. But I see a lot of butterflies. I see a lot of shifting and changing. So I thought this tower is going to be good for you, Cancer. All right. So let's definitely hop in. I'm going to move this over here and let's see what's going on with you guys um, in love. So it looks like in the recent past, Cancer, something was working out. You guys are coming out of some type of conflict and something was working out between you and someone. But I still got the energy of the nine of wands. You guys being guarded, maybe protecting your energy are just kind of like um, guarding yourself still in this situation when it comes to this person, whatever this was about, okay? So I feel like with the Nine of Wands, it's maybe going through a lot. You're working out your differences. Things are coming together. But I still feel like you guys just have your wall up, a guard up, or you're just like, I don't know if I should let my guard all the way down because we've been through so much. Yeah, we're working through our issues, but I just still feel like I need to be guarded, okay? Coming into the present energy, Five of Pentacles in reverse. So this is some type of positive change, um, possibly recovering from the past. We do have three fives. Even though two are in reverse, fives reckon, are about what change, all right? So I feel like certain things have changed or things are changing. But then with the Five of Swords, it's still some conflicts. They're still arguing. you feeling defeated, feeling challenged, okay? Mind games, mind fuckery. But I also fuck with the Five of Swords in the way this person is looking in the car like headache, just tired, fed up, over it. We have the seven of cups. All the cups have flipped over. Okay, there's a snake here. I feel like you guys are trying to figure something out. You guys are just like, I'm just confused about this whole situation. I don't know what to trust, what to believe. I'm in my head. I want to get out of this energy. I really want to figure this situation out between me and my person so I can determine whether we're going to move forward or not. Because the way this person is looking, it's like, you're just like, should I really move forward in this relationship? Should I really move forward with this person? All right. Now, present energy, we have the death card endings all right death rebirth so something could be ending you could be ending something with somebody or maybe you are going to decide to end things in the present i mean in the near future okay coming into the future energy maybe you are going to end things with this person and then we have the hermit okay and that's what you don't see coming so the hermit virgo energy that's you you know wanting to be by yourself um wanting to distance or separate yourself from this person maybe needing some time maybe needing to go within and really ask yourself like you know is this something that i should do all right, so let's go ahead and clarify because we know that can change the whole reading. 
So let's see why the Eight of Pentacles is here in the recent past. Like I said, it looks like you guys were working on things. This could be some type of long-term relationship between you and someone. But it looks as if someone was making them putting the effort into the relationship. All right? That we have temperance. So in the recent past, it looks like you guys reconciled. Looks like you guys reconciled your differences and decided to come back together and work on this relationship. You guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Let's see why temperance is here. One to temperance. We have the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So this is someone that has a lot of love for you. Someone that was wanting to reconcile with you. Someone that was open to reconciliation. They were, you know, open to working on this relationship. They're like, let's work things out. I really want to be with you. So I'm going to put the work in. All right. Like, again, like I said, five of wands reverse. Reconciling your differences. Coming out of conflict with this person. So let's see. Five of wands in reverse. The seven of cups. There was a lot going on, okay? And I feel like that's why in the present energy, you guys are still in that seven of cups energy. Because to see the seven of cups here twice, it means that you guys are arguing or just at it with each other when it came to more than one thing. I don't feel like it was like one thing. I feel like if it was one thing, it was ongoing and it caused us a lot of confusion. But I feel like there was multiple things going on in the relationship and that's why there is a lot of confusion here, okay? So let's see why the seven of cups is here. Seven of Cups. Why so is the Seven of Cups here with the Five of Wands in reverse? We have the Six of Swords. So Six of Swords is like, okay, can we move past this? Let's move on. Let's, you know, um, let this go. Release this baggage. Let's just be at peace. Let's move forward. Let's leave the past behind us. That's what I'm getting. And then we have the King of Swords. So I fight this person. It could be an Aquarius, but Gemini, whoever this is that came back, told you that they, you know, wanted to be serious. They wanted to move things forward that they knew that this is what they wanted they were no longer confused and that they were going to make them put the effort into the relationship that they love you they care for you and that the best thing for you guys to do was to, you know let go of the past and move forward that's what i'm getting but then we have this energy of the nine of wands someone being guarded all right you have your guard up so let's see nine of wands it could be maybe you're just fed up tired of the whole situation everything that's going on between you guys we have the chariot that's you cancer a part of you is ready to like just move on from them. A part of you is ready to move forward. That's what it's telling me with the nine of wands and the chariot. Okay, because you kind of feel like with the nine of wands being there that this relationship is still going to like that direction. Like you just feel like, okay, like we're moving forward now. But a part of you is like, let me put my guard up because I feel like it's not going to just be this easy. I don't feel like we're going to just actually move forward like that. You know, so let's see. Chariot. Yeah, I see the eight of cups. That's why I said a part of you is, a, is ready to walk away. And we have it with the five of swords and it's due to inner conflict. So the five of swords can just be you guys in inner conflict about the whole thing. So inner conflict can just be like just the confusion, everything that you went through, the mind games. Like I said, the mind fuckery, the, you know, the cheating, the lying, you possibly feeling um, betrayed by this person. All right. So maybe that's still on your mind and that is stopping you and blocking you guys from moving forward. Okay. So coming into the present energy, we have the five of pentacles coming out in reverse. So let's see. It looks like there could be like some type of change. Positive change, you guys recovering from the past. That is your um, your energy cancer. The queen of cups. So this is someone that you love and care for. Someone that you have nurtured and given to. With the empress, you can also be like a wife or a, um, you guys have children together. And then we have with the seven of wands here. But I feel like with the empress being here and the seven of wands and the queen of cups, I feel like this is someone that you love, but I also feel like it's been challenging. And I feel like the challenge is that you want to be treated like the empress. You want to be the empress as far as like marriage, the mother, having children with them. Or for some of you guys, you feel like you have been disrespected in your relationship. Looking at the nine of wands, seven of wands. And this is you guarding yourself. Like I said, standing your ground, putting your foot down. Like, no, I'm not going to allow this. Like, I am the mother of your child. I'm your wife. I'm the person that you said you love and you care for. Why are you treating me this way? Even though I do see the five of pentacles in reverse as change. But I also see it as you guys recovering from something that has happened in the past. Some of you guys have finally opened up to forgiving this person. Okay? So, let's see why you guys are in the Five of Swords energy. Present energy for Cancer. Five of Swords. Why are you guys in the Five of Swords energy? Five of Swords energy. Three of Swords. Heartbreak. Torn. Still hurting over the past. But I also thought with the Five of Swords, Cancer, sometimes we put ourselves in that energy. Okay? Because I feel like you guys were hurt and betrayed. When it came to this relationship, this person, but I feel like with the five of swords, you guys keep thinking about it 
and you are bringing back old feelings and it is causing heartbreak, okay? Because I do see a lot of energy where you guys are trying to fix and recover things and move forward. But then I also see somebody in inner conflict and just bringing up the past or someone can't seem to stop thinking about the past or letting go of the past. So let's see why the Three of Swords is here. Yeah, the Hermit. I feel like you guys really do need to go within cancer and really ask yourself, like, am I ready to move forward with this person? Can we move forward in a way to where I can stop thinking about what they've done and what has happened between us and move forward and just enjoy our relationship? Okay, so the hermit is like Virgo energy, but it's like you guys may still need some time. You may still need time to figure things out. You may still need to go within and really um, think about the relationship and what they're offering. And if this is something that you can do, Cancer, go into the hermit. Page of Swords. And we have it with the King of Pentacles. All right, now for some of you guys, you're waiting to hear from them about like commitment. You want to know if they really are serious, like or if they're really taking this situation serious this time. Do they really want to commit? So like if we get together, are we going to actually commit and come together? Like, are you serious? All right, so let's go into the King of Pentacles. We have it with the Ten of Cups, and we have it with the Four of Pentacles. So I definitely feel like for some of you guys, this person is serious. They are definitely wanting to hold on. The Ten of Cups is there. You are their family. You are their wife. You are the mother of their child. All right? And I see them as, you know, wanting to commit to you or wanting to come back together. You guys could have already been in some type of committed relationship. Let's see why the Seven of Cups is here. One to the Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here? The two of swords at a crossroads, feeling stuck. Yep, you feel stuck. You're guarded, blocked emotionally, Cancer. Two of swords, we have with the four of cups. A part of you is wanting to reject them and push them out of your life because you're just not sure. Both the lovers, you love them and you care about this person and you really want it to work out. But I just feel like you guys are just tired of like just everything that has happened. And I feel like you maybe do need some time, Cancer. Maybe you do need time to figure, figure out your feelings. All right, let's see. With the Four of Cups, we have the Nine of Swords, stressing about the past or stressing over something. But then again, I'm still getting the energy of the Ace of Wands, wanting this new beginning, wanting this new passionate beginning with them. But when I see the Nine of Swords or the Ace of Wands, this is something being delayed, feeling stuck, a setback. For some of you guys, you guys haven't had sex with this person in a while. And you may, you know, question or wonder if they've been intimate with somebody else. Or the thought of them being intimate with someone else has, like, kind of turned you away for some of you guys. All right. So let's see why the death card is here. This is coming into the uh, future energy in the near future. What is this ending with the death card? What is this ending with the death card for cancer? What is this ending for cancer? Ace of Wands. And we have with the Page of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, for some of you guys, it was like the deception, the lies, um, them flirting, talking to other people, dating other people, having sex with other people. You kind of ignoring the red flags, the warnings, you know, them getting caught confessing, the truth coming out. I feel like you definitely want to know if that has come to a completion or ending for good before you definitely step back into this situation. The love is there, yes, but can't stop talking. You guys are just like, I can't take no more hurt. I can't do no more. I can't stay in my head. I can't be confused. I can't keep going off what you're saying and what you're telling me. I don't know what to believe. A part of me trusts you and loves you, but a part of me is like, mm -mm, I can't do it. I can love you at a distance, but then I feel like you don't want to love this person at a distance, Cancer. All right? So let's see why the Hermit is here for what you don't see coming. Virgo energy. So we have the Hermit here twice. The Eight of Wands. And we have it with the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like before you guys do move forward and accept this offer or go towards commitment, I feel like you guys are just really needed to take some time and really go within cancer and really ask yourself if this is what you guys are wanting. For others of you, you feel like you need to do some soul searching, walk away from the relationship, maybe date other people, see if there's better opportunity out there. Um, but for most of you guys, this person is reaching out, communication is coming in, and there is going to be an offer um, from this person, let's see one more card. We have it with the two of wands decisions. Okay, you need you are needing to make a decision. All right, Cancer. Let's see. You have the tower is here. Overall energy and then I'll put some love oracle. Why is the tower here? Overall energy for Cancer. Why is the tower here? Overall energy for Cancer. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So it's like something is something is coming together as far as a commitment. Okay, because we saw the King of Pentacles. And like I told you, the tower, 
this i see the tower as this being good but i see the tower as like breaking down the old so that the new can come in all right i see something coming all the way down and being rebuilt but this time it's like it's going to be more stable it's going to come with commitment you are getting what you want the queen of pentacles that is like the commitment the offer the relationship you guys being serious um your marriage coming together we have with the world card. Yes, you guys are coming out of a cycle. Something has wrapped up. All right, and then the sun is here. So that does look good. So this tower is, it may come off as like bad as far as like what you guys are going through and how you guys may feel, but you guys are shedding and releasing and letting go of the old and rebuilding on a solid foundation with this person. So that does look good, all right? Let's pull some romance angels. Let's see, messages for cancer. We have getting to know each other. We have separation. And we have make the effort. So I feel like for some of you guys, Cancer, you're just like, dang, I thought I knew you. Like, I don't know who you are right now. I can't believe that we're going through this. I can't believe that, you know, we went through this or that you put me through this, right? Because getting to know each other, I feel like you just, you, you just knew that you knew this person. And maybe you just thought or just didn't believe that they would do what they did to you but whatever they did it caused separation between you guys all right are you guys are in separation because of that and this person is now trying to come back and make them put the effort into the relationship there is some codependency though all right and then we have engagement so i feel like cancer for a lot of you guys it was like the person that you guys are dealing with they have some type of codependency issue whether it was lying cheating whatever and i feel like maybe they could have gave you an engagement ring or promised you marriage or said something to you so that you can be codependent to them and hold on to this relationship is what I'm getting. While they lie and flirt and do what they want to do. But it's I just still see the separation there. And I also feel like for some of you guys, you could have been just dealing with our dating someone that was younger just wasn't ready. Okay? They weren't ready for this relationship. But then we have worth waiting for and flirting. So they wanted to flirt and do them. But in the back of their mind, they're like, okay, cancer is the person I'm going to be with. It's going to, you know, it's worth waiting for. You know, cancer is going to wait for me while I can just, you know, flirt, do my thing, lie you know, do whatever. And I felt as if this person just felt cancer like you were going to just, for some of you guys, be here forever. Okay? So, let's um, let's look into separation. I thought this person just thought you were going to be there forever, cancer, and not walk away from them. So, let's see. Why is separation here? Going to separation for cancer for the month of July. Cancer, separation for the month of July. Cancer. We have good luck and we have karmic lesson, all right? So, yeah. So, I feel like, look, ghosted. I feel like for some of you guys, like cancer, like some of you guys had to ghost them. Some of you guys had to, like, let them go. Or this person ghosted you. But even through, like, the separation, I feel like you were like, you know what? Good luck. Like, that's what you get. Karma's a bitch. Like, you learned your lesson, okay? And through separation, that's why I feel like this person is coming back trying to make them put the effort into the situation because they see that you guys aren't playing games or they see, like, how serious you are. And maybe they were going through a karmic lesson. Maybe they were dealing with a karmic or maybe they just thought that they had it to where they can, like I said, do whatever they wanted to do and you weren't going to do or say shit, Cancer. And that changed. Let's see. Yeah, see, they're coming back to apologize. And for some of you guys, this is your twin flame. All right, with the twin flame card. Uh-oh. And they wanted you to chase them. All right? But Cancer, it's your season. Sit back, relax, honey. Enjoy your summer. Okay? Um, don't chase them. It's not worth it. Let them come to you, okay? So that is your reading, Cancer, for the uh, for the month of July. Sorry. Um, again, like I said, in the extended reading, I will be pulling a new spread. I'm going to look into your love life for the week of the 18th and the 25th. I'm going to look into career and finances. I'm going to see where you guys are currently blocked, out, blocked at, sorry, or what energy you guys are shifting out of. And I'm going to pull a spirit message from the Wisdom of the Golden Pop Oracle. Alrighty, the link to the extended will be pinned in the comments below. I love you much. Um, happy birthday again, Cancer. The July box is selling out. I think I have about like 10 left. If you guys are interested, you guys can go to my online shop, mytearsafealmyheart.com. All right. Bye, Fire Family. Bye, Cancer. I love you all. And I'll see you guys in the next upload. Bye, loves.